In 1863, the Western Shoshone tribe signed the Treaty of Ruby Valley with the United States. This land included most of modern-day Nevada. The treaty allowed for safe passage for the United States to the West Coast. It gave up no land. It was a treaty of peace and friendship. Western Shoshone land sits on top of one of the richest gold deposits in the country. Corporations have wanted access to this gold for some time, but the Western Shoshone believed the land, water, air, and sun were given to them by the Creator. As Carrie Dan once said, each one represents life, and if you don't have one of those, you don't have life. Mary and Carrie Dan were also ranchers who were dependent on the land their animals grazed upon. Like other Western Shoshone, they viewed the land as sacred and not as an object that could be bought and sold. In 1973, the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, informed Mary and Carrie that their animals were trespassing on U.S. public land without a permit. The sisters refused to pay for the permit, stating that the land was Western Shoshone land, as outlined in the Treaty of Ruby Valley. The United States sued them for trespassing, so their battle with the BLM continued. In 1979, the federal government determined that the Western Shoshone had lost their land in 1872. The United States said they would pay for the land that they stole, but the Western Shoshone voted overwhelmingly to refuse the money. They believed the land was not for sale. The Supreme Court determined that Mary and Carrie no longer had a claim because of the money the United States had offered. In 1992, the sisters stopped the BLM from taking their livestock. Later that year, the BLM came back with more force and took their livestock. The BLM returned to Mary and Carrie's land again in 2002 and 2003 to round up more than 200 horses and cattle. Mary and Carrie were left with no way to make a living, and once the animals were out of the way, corporations rushed in to mine for gold. The mining operations required the use of 20,000 gallons of water per minute. The mining was not only wasteful, but polluting as well. In the midst of their struggle, Mary passed away after a ranching accident in 2005. Carrie was determined to carry on the fight. She took the case to the United Nations Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. The committee urged the United States to stop the mining and to negotiate with Carrie and the Western Shoshone people. But three weeks later, the United States decided they would perform the largest open-air test bombing in history on Western Shoshone land. After many protests by the Western Shoshone and their allies, the test was canceled. Today, Kerry is still vigilantly fighting the U.S. government for Western Shoshone land rights and in defense of Mother Earth. Carrie Dan was a Western Shoshone elder. Her sister Mary was an elder as well. Together, they led struggles against the U.S. government to protect their land, their culture, and their people's way of life. Carrie Dan once said, The U.S. government is acting like a dictator in just taking our land. I have voiced again and again, Western Shoshone land, our Mother Earth is not for sale.